This video contains scenes of advanced Power BI techniques. If you want to learn the basics, check the description. Agree to analysis, the 80-20 rule, the rule of the significant cube. The names vary, but the principles are the same. You need this rule if you have too many items to analyze and you want to pay attention only to the most important ones. The rule says that 20% of your products are responsible for 80% of your profits. Same goes for supplies and purchases, for employees and salary bonuses. You get the idea. So how do we do it? First, you create a table to organize your most important measures. You create three measures, sales, costs, and profit margin. You're going to use this later. Of course, you delete the empty column to create a measure group. You create another measure group that's called Pareto. This is where we're going to be putting our measures that are related to our analysis. The measure we create here is the most important one. That's the cumulative profit margins. You create a variable that calculates the current profit margins for the current product. Then you create another variable, but this time it calculates the margins for all of the products. So you can calculate the percentage. Next, you're going to return a result, which is actually the cumulative percentage. The cumulative percentage is basically for each product, calculating the sum of all margins that have a margin inferior to this specific product. Then you divide the result by the sum of all product margins. So you get a percentage. Next up, you delete the empty column to convert it into a measure group, and you start creating your charts. You place product ID and total margin. You convert the X axis to a categorical axis so you get the correct chart. After that, you place cumulative percentage in the line values and customize the form a little bit. You create a new measure called the 80%. This is just so you draw the line at the limit of 80%. Anything above 80% is not interesting. Next, you place the 80% on the chart. So you draw it, everyone can see it, and then you customize the format a little bit. Your chart basically by now is red. You just need to polish it for the users to better understand it. All right, here we have it, our Pareto chart. What we're going to do now is the, to count exactly how many products do we have that constitute 80% of our margin. So we just calculate the distinct count of their IDs. We also divide that by, by the total number of products, so we get a percentage. This is pretty straightforward here. It's a good idea to keep the same name with a hashtag for number and percentage for percentage, just so you find it more easily la later on. All that's left now is to showcase these two values, to explain the, to the user that he doesn't have to pay attention to all of the products all of the time. So what's left here is just a little bit of formatting. We write some text for the user to explain to them that, hey, not these products constitute most of our margin. You might want to pay attention to those. Those XX are turned into white color so that I replace them with card visuals containing the actual measures. Just, just in case I refresh the data later on so that the correct numbers are displayed in this chart. A little bit of spaces also can be helpful to correctly place those and just re some resizing and we're good to go.
All right, there you have it. Our Pareto analysis is looking really sharp. This will be automatically refreshed.